All right, Intel moving up 7% after reporting Q3 earnings. We have Matt Bryson, Wedbush Securities Senior Vice President of Equity Research and Hardware with us for more on the chip maker. Uh, what are you seeing? What's your reaction to Intel's report? Uh, honestly, I'm a bit surprised the stock's up. Um, the, the report was fine. Uh, they did better uh, on the PC segment than I'd been expecting. Um, I, and expectations were clearly low heading into the print. Um, but uh, again, they, they had to take guidance down for Q4. Last time they talked to us, they, they were talking about uh, Q3 being a bottom, then taking some inventory out of the system, and, and then things would pick up again in Q4. Um, and instead, they, they've got it for Q4 revenues to decline, gross margins to come off. Um, so clearly, Q3 wasn't the, the bottom. When do you expect to see a bottom, I guess, when you take a look at this stock? Because we heard from Gelsinger, he wanted it to be in the third quarter. And then when you take a look at that cost-cutting measure, I guess, how much of that do you think is the reason why we're seeing, look at that, the stock now up just over 7%. Yeah, no, I, I think certainly the, the cost-cutting helps, right? right? Um, uh, I, I think that one of the concerns is that, that Intel's over-investing. I, I do think they have to invest to catch up. Um, but having said that, um, it, it seems like they're investing everywhere, um, maybe in terms of uh, reducing headcount in, in some places where um, the, the, there isn't quite so bright a future. Um, that's the right thing to do. Also, if you look at their capital expenditures, uh, those came down by $2 billion. Uh, so uh, free cash flow uh, won't be quite as bad as it, as it would have been had they not cut CapEx. Um, and, and so that certainly could help. And, and again, expectations were rock bottom heading into this quarter, given how difficult time a uh, time Intel's peers um, and other uh, suppliers into the server and PC markets um, have, have had uh, this past quarter. Certainly seeing that PC slump there, sales down 15% uh, overall in the industry. You're talking about their peers. NVIDIA said those Chinese chip restrictions should cost some $400 million. How do you expect that to impact Intel? So uh, as of right now, it, it, it's not clear. Um, certainly Intel is, is struggling with the fact, um, and everyone's struggling with the fact that the Chinese consumer um, is, is a whole lot weaker uh, than anyone would have anticipated three, six, nine, 12 months ago. Uh, but in, in terms of the enterprise side of things, uh, commerce is not really targeted uh, server chips yet. Um, I, I think that's where the risk is to Intel. Uh, having said that, uh, again, uh, even the, the Chinese uh, data centers, cloud providers haven't been spending as much. Um, and again, I, I see that weighing on Intel the same as it's weighing on uh, AMD, NVIDIA and everyone else. Matt, what would make you a little bit more positive on Intel, on the name as you look out into 2023? So I, I think 2023 is going to be a, a rough time uh, for, for Intel, almost no matter what they do, in, in the sense that I think AMD's ahead uh, in terms of transitioning to the next uh, server CPU. Uh, on the PC side, uh, it, it's a rough PC market out there. Uh, there's not much they can do about those two factors at this point. What would get me more positive is all of their struggles have really come down to the issues on, on the manufacturing side. And, and so if they're able to put out more concrete details around how um, Intel's transforming itself uh, to get their manufacturing back up to speed, uh, parallel with that of TSM, um, that would make me feel a whole lot better about the story going forward. And so it's not, not so much for me about 2023, it's what does 2024 look like, what does 2025 look like? And, and, and right now, I, I just don't have the visibility to say Intel's fixed the manufacturing problem. So yeah, 23 might be a, a bad a bad year, but you're not investing for 23. You're investing for Intel to be the best uh, provider of, of server CPUs, PC CPUs in the world. Part of the reason they'll spend that 20 billion on that Ohio factory. Shocking to see they lose half their market cap uh, year to date. So, what's the one thing that could reassure you that you could hear from Pat Gelsinger in the call upcoming? Um, I, I I I think the the one thing I'll be looking for is on the PC side of things, I was a little bit surprised um, that the business actually grew uh, Q3 from Q2. Um, and, and so I guess one of the details I'll be looking for is that that wasn't them pulling in some business 
um, and that, that that PC rebound is is something that uh, they will have a, a, a bit more in terms of legs for them. Um, and I don't have to worry about uh, there being a bit of excess inventory out there because, again, uh, everyone else you look at had a really, really difficult Q3 in PCs. Certainly did. All right, Matt Bryson, great to have you. Thanks so much for joining us again. Intel shares popping in after hours up just around 7%. All right.